Welcome everyone back to the channel, Kyle here, and I am back again today, hot from the mailbox, Elite 77 from Mattel. Happy to have this one right on the heels of Elite 76. I got these in from Ringside Collectibles, so I got them a little bit earlier than the stores. Um, a very uh, wanted set, I guess you would say, with the, the Fiend's first figure ever, making this set extremely popular. Uh, one of the priciest figures to uh, start out, I guess, right off the gate uh, is The Fiend. As it's probably going to be very well, could be the most wanted figure of the year for uh, Mattel collectors out there. Uh, a very cool set. Uh, they've continued the year-by-year -year SummerSlam sets. Uh, and this year is no different. And uh, this year we get a Viscera, where last year we got Mabel. Maybe next year we'll get Big Daddy V. Uh, very cool to see Elizabeth in the line, of course. Ravishing Rick Rude, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, also comes with the Chase figure, which we'll track down down the line. Um, you know, some mixed reports on this Ravishing Rick Rude that sounds like uh, the, the dye of his jacket and his robe is bleeding into the plastic, which is totally unfortunate. I thought those days were long gone uh, via Mattel, as some of the earlier Mattels had that issue. Well, we're going to unbox all these, and we'll see. Will my Ravishing Rick Rude be stained? I guess we'll have to all stay tuned to find out. Um, so very excited to open up this line. We'll do it like we do in the past. We'll go figure by figure. We'll open it. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. And then we'll move on to the next one. So hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy and uh, stay with the whole video. Like I said, Elite 77 Mattel unboxing. All right, here we are. Let's start. The first one we are going to unbox is actually the one I was most anticipating. Uh, the one I'm most excited for, I would say, and that is Viscera. You know, a lot of people are looking for The Fiend, but I'm looking back to some of the classic ones. And you guys that know me and watch my videos, you know I love guys in face paint. But I also love the big, giant wrestlers. Uh, this is one of the heavier, uh, heavy-duty figures. I mean, you can just, the weight of the package is heavy. So I was excited to get Viscera. A uh, different look. Um, you know, I really love the Mabels that came out last year. You know, we had the Chase Mabel as well. Uh, very cool figures. We'll see how this one um, lines up to it on first impressions. Like I said, I haven't seen these myself, so we're going to open them together and we'll see uh, what we like, what we don't like. But here it is, Viscera right there. You know, a little bit of an overkill on the hands, I think. Uh, I, I love that we get extra hands when they're warranted, but I also kind of think sometimes there's a little too many hands in there. Um, that's just me, maybe. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not. We do get the uh, Big Daddy V type hands. I know there's been some clamoring on the internet out there saying he didn't use those hands uh, during this time period. I can give that a little bit of a pass. Um, I also see he comes with the hardcore title. That came with uh, Kane back in the day. Uh, maybe a Cactus Jack figure if my memory serves me right. But we haven't got the hardcore title a lot uh, over the years. So yes, he was champion at one time. Uh, we'll take it. I guess if that's where they wanted to put it in with, uh, beggars can't be choosers, as they say. But there it is on the side. He always was scary with that blonde hair and the black lipstick. Uh, obviously, the contacts in his eyes. Uh, very, very crazy. Uh, there is Viscera Elite 77, the front. A big hulking figure. And then you got the side, uh, the glamour shot of him uh, they took from. And, of course, the back, you can see. And you can see the rest of the line there. Uh, as you guys have noticed, it's in the SummerSlam packaging. I do like they kept the uh, traditional packaging and then added kind of a SummerSlam y graphic to it. Um, that's all right to me. Um, it's interesting they do that with SummerSlam every year, where WrestleMania is kind of its own set. It's not part of the Elite 76, 77, 78, and so forth. I always find that to be kind of interesting. I'm not sure the reasoning for that. I don't think it's ever been explained, at least that I know. Um, but let's read the back. So Viscera from Harlem, New York, 487 pounds, six foot nine. Uh, finisher doesn't say anything. <laughs> Underneath Finisher, it says Hardcore Champion, World Tag Team Champion, 1995, King of the Ring. So a little bit of an error on the packaging right out of the gate. Uh, quality control should have probably found that. Uh, Viscera represented the corporate ministry along with his partner Midian in the SummerSlam 1999 Tag Team Turmoil match. Summer 1999 was a great year. That was the year I graduated from high school. So there's a little Easter egg for you. Um, but yeah, let's open her up. I don't see anything else we need to really talk about packaging-wise. SummerSlam logo. Um, but here it is. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Big Daddy V's got for us. Or Viscera, as we should call him probably. Let's pull on this one. See you later. 
Here's the backing. You know, they always have kind of a, you can save these and put your figures behind them, stuff like that. Nothing really special on this one, I don't think. So see you later, we won't save that. Uh, let's pop these accessories out. I always start with the accessories, but we'll show you a picture right up front first. Very good, very good. Uh, don't see any paint issues to begin. Obviously he's mostly black, so um, not a lot of paint issues you're gonna have on his body and stuff like that. I don't see any scuffs or anything off the back. Um, but boy, talk about a heavy figure. You know, he's he's turning into the King Kong Bundy of the Mattels. You know, he was the heavy LJN, um, Viscera, Mabel, whatever you want to call him today, is kind of the same. So, get some of these out here. Maybe. Sorry about the noise, of course. Well, it looks like he's even... Got to get the blade out. We got to get him out of here. He is locked in, that heavy duty of a figure. They don't want him moving, that's for sure. So, knock him out. Here it is, a little rope there. Packaging, see you later. All right, so the hardcore title, the same as the hardcore we've gotten in the past. Very good, though. We, we can always use these. There's always somebody you can put this with. Uh, I love getting title belts. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure a lot of us are the same. I would rather have a title belt over an extra set of hands if they took one set of hands away. Um, is what it is, but let's see. We got a couple of normal hands, one open, there's a V, a punching hand, and then the exact opposite for the other ones. You guys have all seen hands many a times, I'm sure. Um, I'll have to decide which hands to put on him, um, as he is in the double fist position right now. Yeah, this figure, first impression, lives up to the hype for me. I do like this one, heavy duty, nice punching Hands on him. Let's look here. Holy cow, is that a heavy-duty figure? That's a big one. You know, we got a mohawk on him and everything. A lot of good details. Obviously, it's in a way, it's a plain figure, and in a way, it's highly detailed. You know, it's all black outfits. So there's no decorations, no nothing, but uh, and it does not remove. It does not come off, of course. Um, head swivels a little bit in there. But yeah, very good face scan. You know, it's just awesome what they can do with him. I love the face on him. I gotta decide which hands do I want to use, but for right now, the uh, the fists look pretty cool. I think we'll go with that for now. Obviously, he's gonna fit on a ringside collectible stand. They are technically made for wrestling figures, so it would be something if it didn't fit. But um, you know, I love my ringside stands for everything out there. I use them across the board if I can, as they are about the cheapest way to. Uh, display figures and I always say it I don't want my I don't want to spend my dollars buying expensive stands I want cheap stands that work that are economical and I want more money for my figures I'm sure all you guys out there would agree with that I'd rather spend money on figures than stands I'm not collecting stands but um ringside collectible stands seem to be the best uh for what I do so there it is there is viscera the first one of elite 77 let's see who we got next all right, we roll on with AJ Styles. I think this is his first elite figure, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, wait, no, never mind. This is about his 20th uh, figure, probably, in about 21 sets. Uh, a lot of people out there, you see it online, I'm sure you guys do, too. All the complaints about all the Finn Balors and all the AJ Styles and Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins a little bit. You know, the top stars, they just keep getting pumped out, pumped out, pumped out. Uh, you know, the top picks have taken care of that a little bit uh, with the top pick strategy where they are going to release the heavy hitters on a more consistent basis. So little Johnny can go to the store and he can always get his Roman Reigns figure, which will free up a spot in these lines. I think that's worked to some degree a little bit. I don't know. Um, not as much as I thought it would as we do keep getting bombarded with AJ Styles figures. I have a feeling this maybe will be the last elite for a little while. I think they're going to finally take in a break. I've got to think Mattel's looking and hearing some of that uh, business out there where people are getting sick of AJ Styles. But I'm glad we got the OC attire AJ Styles. I think that's a fitting one. It's a cool one. I wish we could have got Gallows and Anderson to match or at least a basic two-pack to go with him. But uh, with them being released, that's totally off the table, unfortunately. But we'll just have to take the AJ Styles and leave the memories there and forget about Gallows and Anderson, at least for now. But here it is, Elite 77 AJ Styles. Uh basically a repaint of other ones we've had. I mean, we've had him many, many times, as I said. Um, there he is looking good on the side. 
and the back. Of course, same packaging throughout. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. Let's see if there's any errors like there was with Viscera. From Gainesville, Georgia, 218 pounds, 5 foot 11. Career highlights, WWE Champion, United States Champion. Representing the original, the official, the only club that matters, AJ Styles successfully defended his United States Championship against Ricochet at SummerSlam 2019. So there it is, AJ Styles, and let's jump into it, you know. We'll uh, see what see if there's anything that we have here outside of the uh, OC stuff that we really care about. See you later. All right, get the accessories out. So he comes with a shirt, which my money in my head right now says I'm going to display him in a shirt because I got him displayed uh, in his uh, jackets most of the time, his little vests. Uh, try to do something different. However, I need to get a soft goods OC shirt. I guess I never thought about that till just this minute. Uh, I don't mind these plastic ones, but the cloth ones are so much better. Um, I got to find uh, somebody that's making one of those. Uh, I need to get a deal, a hookup with somebody. I usually use threadhead.com uh, every once in a while. I use um, Ralph's, uh, which is foreign, but uh, very good work and reasonable work there. But I'll need to get a soft goods one for this one, I think. You got your typical hands, red, so two black fingers. We'll pop him out. See you later. So it really is just your typical AJ Styles. I mean, we've seen it many, many a time over. Um, I thought we were going to have some goofy foot work there. Um, but there it is, AJ. I mean, there's not a lot to say. We've seen uh, many of AJs. I do like the uh, Japanese writing on the one knee pad. That is cool. I've um, got to decide which hands to put on him. Um, there's the back. You know, I got a little bit of an AJ Styles look going myself. I'm wearing hats all the time because I haven't had a haircut in six months. Uh, it's almost time for me to go get trimmed up. Not sure what I'm going to do. Am I going to get my hair real short again? Am I going to, you know, do something different? Part of me wants to do the AJ Styles look, kind of the, the soccer mom look. I think that would be a fitting one for me, um, but we'll see. Uh, I'm trying to look. His eye does look a little bit wonky. Uh, maybe not. Got a little bit of a black mark on his nose. I'll have to clean that up later. I doubt the camera's going to pick it up. It's so small. Um, but for the most part, the quality control is good. Very stiff joints. He's going to need to be worked in a little bit. Um, but an alright figure. I don't hate this figure. I don't think it's going to be uh, one that's flying off the shelves. I think when we see Elite 77 hit the store shelves, I think you're going to see this one and probably the Ronda Rousey. I think they're going to peg warm pretty good for a while. They're going to be the slow ones of the set. We've already seen AJ Styles back from, what, Elite 73, 74? I still see that one all over the place with the Elite 74 Finn Balor. So I think it'll be a little bit too quick on the heels. So we'll get loaded up with him. Also seeing a lot of 75 uh, Seth Rollins really clogging the pegs right now. Um, so some of these guys just get made of just an awful lot. Um, and it kind of uh, slows down and clogs the pegs. Um, so there it is. But that's it. That's the AJ Styles. Not a lot more to say. I think it's a good figure. But uh, I think you guys would all agree with me. I guess in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. I think this one will be a peg warmer of the series. There it is. Let's move on to somebody else. All right. The Elite 77 train rolls on. And we are at the time of the video where we get Miss Elizabeth. Uh, very cool to have another Miss Elizabeth in there. Um, not... If you think of Legends, probably not one I really want. I'm not super desperate for. You know, we got the early one in the white uh, gown, very similar to this one. Uh, that's probably my favorite one, just because that's every day Miss Elizabeth I like to see, or I like to say. Then we also got one, I believe it was the Then Now Forever set, uh, Walmart exclusive. It was a little bit uh, more updated, um, a little newer, I guess you'd say. Not quite WCW, but more uh, WWF uh, back in the day, which was all right that was a bit of a peg warmer for a while but we got another one um this one like let's read the back i'll start with the back on this one from louisville kentucky as manager of the mega powers the first lady of the wwe had an itsy bitsy teeny weeny surprise for the mega bucks at SummerSlam 1988 so a very famous moment uh first time ever depicted in a figure form uh when she managed the mega powers obviously she's in the yellow and the red uh, just like the Mega Powers War back in the day. Um, this was also the first pay-per-view I ever got live as a kid. Um, I was uh, just turned eight years old when that uh, happened. So I remember fondly of that back in the day. 
Um, but a, an all right figure, I guess, on first impressions. Uh, I will display this with a Macho Man and Hogan. Probably my Storm Collectibles Hogan. Uh, maybe put her on his arm, you know, like, like the classic scene in my display cabinet. We'll see uh, how I'm going to do that. But um, first impressions, a pretty good figure. Um, I think a lot of people miss those Elizabeths. We got a, a lot of new collectors. I'm trying to think how many years back it was. We had a Miss, miss Elizabeth on the store shelves. Probably four or five years. Um, it's been a while. So there she's in the back. Let's open this one up. Get my old razor blade out here. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional with a razor blade. All right, let's pull it out. Packaging. See you later. Comes with an extra set of hands. Um, I don't know if anybody really clamors for extra sets of hands on Miss Elizabeth, but we'll see. Oh, she's even tied in. She's tied in here with a little rubber band type deal. We'll free her from those. And see you later. Get these straps off, like so. So there it is, just two normal hands. It's not like we haven't seen hands before, nothing. I don't know. I think I will keep her in the hands she has right now. I think they make the most sense for her. Um, yeah. It seems to be, uh, on first impressions looking at this, this seems to be an updated head scan. A little bit different. I like the two um, hands that go off on their own. There it is. I think it's uh, I think this is the way she's meant to be displayed. Um, she will not be going on a ringside collectible stand, that is for sure, as she does not have footholds. So there's no way to put her on there. I am guessing this is a little bit hard. Actually, not tear. Yeah. This is going to be a hard one. So you basically have to lean her up on something. Or, like I said, I'm going to probably display her on Hogan's shoulder. Um, because this is a tough one to get to stand on her own. It's probably not going to happen with those high heels. Um, I guess that's to be expected. But I'm not sure if she has the bikini. Yep, she does. I guess we'll we'll show the bikini. And it does. it is removable. So just like in the, the match, bam, there it is. She's got the bikini underneath. Good attention to details by Mattel. Um, you know, they, they necessarily did not have to do it that way, but they did. Um, and that does fit what happened where uh, it got ripped off in the match. So it is what it is there. But um, better than anticipated for me. I uh, didn't have high hopes for it. I said, hey, it's cool to get a, anytime I get a legend in the line, I'm excited like a lot of you. Uh, but this one, probably not my first legend I'd want. Probably my most wanted legends coming out very soon is the Superstar Billy Graham. I can't wait for that one. Um, that would have been at the top of my list. But this one is all right. It serves a purpose. Uh, legend females are few and far between, so it's cool to get Miss Elizabeth. Um, so there it is. I don't see any staining of the dress, which is good. Um, and then, you know, the top does remove as well. So um, there it is. That is Miss Elizabeth. Actually, I do see a little... I don't know if the camera will pick that up. There's a little bit of a divot on that uh, leg there. It looks like it came that way from the factory, obviously. obviously, um, And a little bit of staining, but it's kind of weird because there's no, no cloth down here. Um, but I think that will rub out. I think if I work on it with a little bit of a magic eraser, I can get that out. But that's just one of those things. Sometimes they come scuffed or a little issue from the factory. But that's it. That's Elite 77, Miss Elizabeth. All right, next up, another one I'm extremely excited for in Elite 77, Ravishing Recruit, a favorite of mine. Uh, I loved his feud with the Warrior. I was in that age group, you know, I've said it before, I love the Ultimate Warrior. I loved his matches uh, with Rick Rude. I also really loved Rick Rude in WCW with the Dangerous Alliance. I think that is super underrated. If you never watched that back in the day, uh, that was some of my all-time favorite times as a kid watching wrestling. So Rick Rude is a special one to me. I've uh, enjoyed him for a long time. So read the back of the package here from Robbinsdale, Minnesota. I actually spend a lot of time up in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Uh, for work purposes, I go up there, I travel, and I uh, do spend some time in Robbinsdale. So I always think I walk the mean streets that uh, Rick Rude walked every once in a while. Uh, weight, 252 pounds, six foot three. career highlights, Intercontinental Champion, WCW United States Champion, WWE Hall of Fame inductee. Whether he was wooing the ladies or taking care of business inside the ring, Rick Rude showed the WWF Universe, WWE Universe, 
what it means to be truly ravishing. And that he did. You know, I will probably display him with Bobby Heenan in my shelves. There he is on the side. Of course, the back. Um, so now the big uh, hubba baloo about this figure, the big issue is it seems to be the robe is staining the plastic on the figure. Uh, they have said uh, since then that future ones that come out, I think they're going to uh, put him in the package with no robe. So basically, you're almost at a Shawn Michaels basic 100 level with this figure, where there will be four different versions. As uh, you know, there'll be the Chase version, the regular version, both with robes and packaging. And then you'll have the Chase and the regular version without robes and packaging. So you completists out there, I feel sorry for you. It's good to see the uh, shoe on the other foot, um, seeing people having to buy four of one figure. Uh, see you later, packaging. Um, but I'm uh, very anxious to see, would it be something? I, I think there's been a handful of people that have received these where they haven't had staining. I'm not sure if I'm going to be that lucky. Um, you know, keep your fingers crossed for me as we're watching this video. See if uh, I can be one of the lucky ones, maybe. Nope. He's... Oh, interesting. So they even got the robe locked in there. You know, it's interesting, the upcoming Greg Valentine Target Lost, or not Lost Legends, but Legends series coming out. Um, he is displayed with the robe to the side. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, Rick comes with extra hands, probably hand overkill. Got a little bit of a bend to his finger. I must have got the packaging. All right, let's see here. So there it is. Simply ravishing. Rick Rude. Place your bets. Call your local sports book, whatever you want to call it. Do we think we will have staining on this figure? There's only one way to find out, and that's take this robe off. Let's see what happens. You know, I'm I'm hoping for no staining. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get, ah, oh, darn. I didn't get so lucky. I got staining. Not as bad as some, that's for sure. But it definitely uh, has occurred. So you can see him right there. You can see on the biceps. I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty minute. Um, you can see on his tattoo right there, there's a little line below it. Uh, really not as bad as some I've seen. Uh, I'll see if I can quickly clean these up. I doubt I can. Um, I do like the, obviously the trunks on this one have the ultimate warrior right in the crotch there. Feel the heat, SummerSlam, of course. <clears throat> I'll have to look. If I remember right, it's been a long time since I dealt with this issue. But I remember if you soaked these in, I want to say vinegar or water, uh, mixture it would take kind of the dye out that stains the figures uh, don't quote me on that uh, you know use it at your own risk I need to look that up again but it might be worth giving this a little bit of a soak for a couple days let it air dry and then you could probably put it back on him um, but yeah it is totally disappointing uh, for Mattel you know quality control they got to know these things they had this issue way back in the day um, there's some of the other issues like I know that fan central Bobby Heenan had that problem there's got to be a better way to fix that. Um, I hope they don't go the, light, the way of, hey, we'll just stop giving soft goods. We will uh, just put plastic goods in from here on out because it's just not the same. Rick Rude with a, a plastic robe just wouldn't look right. Kind of, I think of like Sting's robe thing he wore on some of his that are all plastic. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't work for me, that's for sure. And it wouldn't work with Rick Rude, but... There he is. A good figure. I don't know about great. The staining issues obviously uh, hurt the figure. But uh, one I'm excited to get. I, I say it before. I love Legends figures. I'm happy to have another Legend in the line. I will be tracking down the Chase one. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky by the time they hit to the stores. Maybe they'll fix some of these issues. Maybe the Chase one won't be stained. Maybe I will display the Chase one with... Uh, with uh, the robe on and maybe leave this one or leave the robe on this one since he's stained already and then leave the other one without a robe um, that's at least where my head's at right now we will find out uh hopefully in the next month or so what's up with the chase one so there it is ravishing rick rude elite 77 let's move on to another one all right here we are with ronda rousey so from venice california five foot seven finisher the arm bar 
Career highlight, Raw Women's Champion. UFC Champion would be a good career highlight to maybe add to this one as well. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, at SummerSlam 2018, Ronda Rousey beat Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship and proved why she's the baddest woman on the planet. So there it is. There's the side face. There's the uh, shot from the match. And there's the back. The whole crew down here. And so there it is. Let's see the front. There she is. Um, an interesting one, I think. AJ Styles, we talked how he's going to peg warm. I think Ronda will be the other peg warmer. You know, between the Ultimate Edition, she has a lot of basics that are uh, on the pegs right now. I'm not sure this one a lot of people are really looking for right now, uh, but we'll see. You know, it's a SummerSlam moment. Um, there might be some Ronda collectors out there that are looking for that one, so we'll see. There you go. See you later. <clears throat> she does come with a title belt, which is good. You can never have enough title belts. We need those. Comes with hands, extra sets of hands here. Pop those out. She is also uh, rubber rubber banded in. There are a lot of rubber bands in this set. I'm not sure exactly the reason. If that's just to hold the poses, they think they might move in shipping. Um, see you later. So your typical Ronda figure. You know, she's got uh, the crazy head to her. Or crazy head. The smoky eyes, I guess you would say. Uh, that she wore during that match, which a lot of people are like, what the heck? Kind of made her look raccoony once uh started uh, melting in the match a little bit. I do see a little... Hmm. It looks like a little, uh, what do you call it, um, staining. But she didn't have any cloth goods, so I don't know why there'd be staining on there. But maybe that'll just rub off. Um, there she is, Rhonda. Got the skirt, the kilt. Not sure what you want to call it on her. Obviously, we know Roddy Piper, it's a kilt. Um, the kilt is removable. It's got her uh, gear on underneath it. I will display her with the kilt on. Um, my only gripe with some of these female, or the female figures here, they got the double jointed knees, which is a nice accessory. But it, there's something off when you look at the knees straight on. I don't know. It just looks like uh, she's got huge legs or something. It's just something not right. It makes it look a little bit funny. Um, like I said, this isn't my favorite figure in the line. It's probably far from it, but it's uh, when you're a completist, you got to get ones like these. Um, I think this will probably be our last Ronda Rousey figure for a while. I would have to imagine, uh, unless she decides to come back. Um, you know, the verdict's still out on that one. It sounds like she's not, but you never know. Um, but this could be our last Ronda Rousey figure we get for uh, quite some time. So if you had never got a Ronda Rousey figure, this is probably the time to do it because I do think this will be your last chance, at least for a year or two. Um, don't quote me on that, but I would say that's probably the case. But nothing too else special about this one. Um, like I said, I think this will be with AJ, will be the other peg warmer of the series. Uh, but you're always going to have one or two from every series. That's just the way it goes, so... There it is, Ronda Rousey. So we got one left. We all know which one it is, The Fiend. I make you guys wait through all these other ones. So a lot of people care about that one the most. I'll give you my first impressions as we open up The Fiend. All right, our review and unboxing of Elite 77 comes to a close with The Fiend. As we've talked about, this is probably the most anticipated figure in quite some time. I would say a little bit of the luster has been taken off this figure in the last couple of weeks as it was announced about a week, two weeks ago, uh, roughly somewhere at the beginning of June, that we were going to be getting an Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt um, later in the year, I think probably around Christmas time. Um, that did kind of quell some people online about the hype for this one. I've heard some people say, oh, I'm just going to wait for the Ultimate Edition one. That'll give us multiple heads, multiple looks and stuff, and it probably will. But uh, you should always get the first time in a line of a figure. There'll be something different, something that brings this one to a different level. Um, I think uh, you'd be a fool not to pick this one up. But we already see the resale market, and these haven't even hit traditional stores yet, and it's through the roof. I can only imagine once these hit the stores, you know, at the $20 price point, you're going to be seeing these all over eBay. People thinking they have a gold mine, which they might for a little while. We see it's worth a lot of money right now. Um, but things die down as more Bray Wyatt's come out. You're going to see this one drop in value. But, you know, five, ten years from now, I think uh, first in the line, first time figure, this will probably be a good collector's piece. So if you are one of those that stores your figures away for years later as somewhat of an investment, uh, this could be an investment and one you'd probably want to keep a mint on card of uh, just in case uh, down the line. But 
here he is. I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of him. Um, promotional, you name it. They've uh, plastered this one everywhere. Um, comes with the, the head lantern. Comes with some hands. Cool picture on the side, of course. And then we got the live in person. You know, a lot of people are making aftermarket jackets for him. If uh, I need to pick probably one of those up one of these days as well, it'd be nice to have a jacket to go along with this one. Um, there it is on the back. Picture, a little description, the whole line below. Let's see, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Weight 285 pounds, 6 foot 3. Career highlights, Universal Champion, WWE Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion. When Finn Balor challenged The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, to a match at SummerSlam 2019, he found out how dangerous it is to let him in. And boy, did he indeed. So, here it is. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see if uh, it's worthy of the hype. Um, I'm sure, I guess, leave in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you guys got this one or have ordered this one. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about it? Did it live up to your hype? Is it exactly what you were looking for? How about the hands? How about the lantern? Nope, he's, he's bolted in as well. We've had a lot of them. Rubber band city in this set. There it is. Pop him out there. These rubber bands. See you later for the last time. Okay. Now, I don't see... I've heard people have had some paint issues on the face. Luckily, I do not have that. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I do not have that on mine, which I'm thankful for. Let's see. There he is. We're getting it. We're skipping the accessories. Usually, I do the accessories first. We'll do those last. I'm getting right to it here. So there he is, got the hurt and heel on his hands. That is probably how I will display him, I think. Um, I do love the tattoo work. I love it when they go above and beyond and give us all the tattoo work on a figure. Um, it's really good. You know, this does look better in hand. Uh, he's kind of chest heavy, I thought, in the pictures and some of the promotional pictures. He still is a little bit, but it's not as bad as I remembered it being in the pictures of uh, the prototype. Just seemed like he was a little bit too top heavy, um, but this is very good, um, very good. You know, I think they have there is a variant to the hair already. I think this is the blonder variant. I think there is a little darker variant. Um, the mask does not come off, of course, um, but that's not a bad that's not a bad figure at all. Um, actually, better than I expected it to be. We talked about the uh, size of the torso, so I I had high hopes for it, but I was kind of put off by that a little bit, but um, I do like this figure. I think this is definitely a must-have. This is probably the jewel of the set. This will obviously be the hardest one to find in the set. Um, you know, find it while you can. Don't pass it up. Don't look it on the shelves and say, yeah, I'll come back next time. I'll get it because it probably is not going to be there. As we know, most stores get maybe get one case of, the, uh, of a set, possibly a second if they're a high-volume Walmart or Target. But uh, anymore, if you want it, you better pick it up when you see it. Um, that's for sure. You got the hurt and heel on the, the normal gloved hands. Um, and then the lantern. So very cool with the lantern. I'm not sure what the plan was here. It would be awesome if this lit up. It'd be cool. I wonder if the Ultimate Edition will be a little battery inside it that makes it light up. I think that would really set that to the next level for sure. Uh, but it does got a little hole there at the bottom. Like I think you could drill your way in. You could probably, I'm sure there's some great customizers out there. It's probably already happened. I just haven't seen it. You could turn this into a real lantern, uh, put a little LED inside of there. Obviously, he can hold this with his hands. Um, you know, I, I'm not shocked this got through, I guess, in this day and age and some of the toys you see. But you think back to the head fiasco of the bone crunching days with Al Snow, uh, with a severed head in the package and all the people were worked up for no reason as it's clearly a mannequin head. Well, this looks like somebody got decapitated and turned into a, a lantern. So I'm surprised a little bit that got through. Uh, but, you know, you see a lot of crazy stuff out there on the shelves now. I mean, go look at the NECA section. I guess those aren't clearly marketed for the same age group as these, but I, I think uh, people have l uh, laxed their moral standards, I guess, uh, as it comes to toys, maybe. Or maybe people don't pay attention like they used to, besides you and me that are watching this. Um, but there it is, the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Hopefully it lived up to the hype for all you guys. Uh, it actually did for me. I was kind of expected to be a little disappointed, but I didn't. I think this whole line as a whole, 
uh, is a winning line. I, I, even the AJ Styles, which I think will peg warm, that would be probably my most wanted AJ Styles at this point. Um, so I do like that. Uh, Viscera, very cool again. Uh, Miss Elizabeth and Rick Rude, both chases. You know, I'll look to the side a little bit on that Rick Rude uh, issue there. Hopefully that's fixed. Hopefully when you get yours, you don't have the same issue. It's going to be a little bit of Russian roulette roll the dice on that one for sure. Um, and then Ronda Rousey, that's probably the weakest one for me. Uh, probably a lot of you as well. But definitely uh, a set that lived up to the height. Elite 77. Get it while you can. Get it when it's in the store. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for putting up with the video. Uh, as you guys know, I put a new video out every single day of an unboxing, a review, a deep dive, a weekly purchase, a fig hunt, you name it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Put the notification on. Make sure you're alerted. Uh, every day, 1 o'clock Central, a uh, new video coming your way. So until next time, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. Tell me your thoughts on this, and I'll see you guys all real soon.